Hey everyone, <clears throat> I find myself on the road with a little bit of time on my hands, so I'm going to take a viewer's request and show you some fingerings that I use, that I would use, on the waltz Indifference, which is in volume three of the waltz book. And I've never seen or heard this waltz before, but it is really a cool waltz. It's in E minor, but it uses, you know, the, the E harmonic minor scale. C natural, D sharp, which gives it a real gypsy flair or an Eastern flair or a Spanish sound. Um, okay, so this, uh, so let me play it for you and I'll try to do the repeats as it's written and then I'll go through and show you the fingerings slowly. Okay, now I can't see myself after I switch screens, so I'll do my best to keep my hand where you can see it. Here's indifference. One, two,
goes back to the beginning yet again. It's a roadmap. Um, and that's, <laughs> that's a lesson unto itself, just how to follow this roadmap. But let's get down to the meat and potatoes of the fingerings on this. Um, the two spots that catch my eye the most are the, the top of both pages. So at the very beginning, you've got this little arpeggio down an octave, then it goes up an octave and you have to shift. So the beginning is, then you have to do it up an octave and I would shift right there. So on a second finger from G to B. Okay. And okay, that's all first position. I want to just mention with these grace notes, they make it look really hard. It's F natural, G, G sharp, A. So, but you know what? What is when it's played fast, it sounds just like a, slit, a slide third finger. So if it's easier for you, that's just as cheeky, just as flirtatious. But if you want to be strict, it's one, two, two, three. Okay. Um, everything else, I've talked about everything that applies that, that you need might need help with on page one. At the bottom of page one is a little pickup that takes you into page two. And it's G, F sharp, A. Uh, G, F sharp, E. So. And if you're planning ahead, you, an elegant thing to do would be to play three, three, two. Because then you're all in position to play the beginning of page two in half position. One, three, open, two, two, one, one. So the first bar of page two is one, three, open, two, two, one, one. Not necessary. You can use an emergency fingering and just play one, two, open, two, one, one, one. You can do what's obvious to you, but if you want a nice elegant fingering, then that's what I would do is with the, the pickups on the bottom of page one, I'd play three, three, two, one. Again, not necessary, but there's a shift coming up that is necessary. Right where I stopped, we have a high C. Just shift right on that note. It's it's wonderful if you slide into it. And then from the A sharp, which is the first finger, slide a half step up to B. And then you're in fourth position for a few notes. One, four, three, one. Open E, shift down. Okay, and that's the other most trickiest spot. So the top of page two is this. Line two, I would just stretch my fourth finger. Low four on the D sharp. And then it repeats itself. On this first ending, just, just play it in first position. And gliss right up to that harmonic. It's begging for a gliss. Okay, um, I was happy to present this to my friend. Can't remember your name unless I look at my email. But um, yeah, it's a great waltz. Thanks for pointing it out to me. And I will turn this off so you can go learn it. <laughs>